Hey guys, Silence Yale here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video. And this time around, it's Mikumo's turn to show some love to all her fans. Sadly to say, she's a bit late with Valentine's, but that's okay. Like the title of the video says, love has love is not bound by time. So yeah, it's always Valentine's Day as long as you have love for the other person. So let's take a look at Mikumo's brand new episode play and to see what kind of surprises or you know what kind of tearing it can be considering that most of the Uragiranai costume plates have been pretty much the same you know uh, to this point in time uh, yeah so okay straight off the bat we can tell that it doesn't have a special note attached to the plate which is kind of a bummer but so far, mm, I guess only Reina and was it Kanami that actually had the note attached to it. So, all right, let's take a look at the total score. Wait, something looks different. Uh oh. Okay, so um, Mikumos is the only plate with three thousand eight hundred and seventy-four total score. Um, well. Her plate is the only one that is above the usual amount that all the Uragira Knight plates had, which is about 3006. So she has more total score. Huh. And well balanced stats all around. Take note of the other three divas who can use her plate. Surprisingly, Ranka is inside the selection. <laughs> but here's the thing it has no center skill? Huh? Alright, it has no active skill as well, but it comes with a double S rank life skill, the first ever 6 star fully evolved plate with a double S life skill. Alright, so let's take a look at what it does. Alright, so... Basically, this is a combination life skill where it helps with, um, you know, easy tapping of notes. Then at the same time, it's a score repeat. Wow! So this might actually be the best score repeat episode play ever. Okay. So for every, you know, at the 30 second mark, for every 30 seconds, like any score repeat episode play out there, for 4 seconds, you will have easier time tapping notes and for 7 seconds, your score is boosted by 80% up. Just like a standard score repeat episode plate, 80% is the usual amount but because this is a combination, um, I would say a combination skill, it comes with that, you know, bonus effect of having an easier time tapping notes which is good. You know, for those who are trying to break high score, at the same time, they are struggling with maybe a difficulty that you normally can't um, master or to get a full combo with, this is a very good episode play! Oh! Okay, so this is the first ever combination episode play that actually is good! And the first ever 6 star episode play that comes with a double S rank skill. Alright, so without a doubt, this is definitely a must obtain episode plate. It's the first of its kind, so definitely trying to get it is definitely a thing you must do. That is if your wallet allows you to. So <laughs> hey guys, um, all that said, Mikumo's episode plate is definitely one of the top tiering plates right now. Um, definitely not to the standard of a god tier, which is your 7 star plates, but you know, definitely on the top, the highest of the tiering that I probably might create in the future. <laughs> still thinking about how I should tier them, but yeah, it's it's still a few days or a, a, a week or so away from creating a first video for that. So anyways, uh, guys, let's do this. I've already tossed most of my money into the 7-star gacha for Reina 
Um, so I'm just using whatever singing stones I managed to collect from the free daily event songs and of course to the event itself. So let's do this with just one template pool of the discounted rate and hopefully at least give me episode plates with the costume points for Mikumo's costume so that I can unlock them with the episode orbs later on I suppose. But you know, my luck has been horrible and I really used up my luck to, you know, squeeze that Cheryl Gnome's <laughs> six star plate out from the gacha. So I don't see myself getting anything good from this video. But you never know, Dela might surprise me. Maybe Mikumo has some love for me. Leftover from Valentine. I don't know, there was some loading there, so that kind of a decent sign, I suppose. <laughs> okay, so decent animation from the Valkyrie scene. No red boxes on the first bling. There we go. Some decent amount of red boxes. So, uh, I, I'm still considering a decent pool. There we go. No evolution from the plate. We do get some mucky railer. Move on. No sign of Mikumo anywhere. <laughs> uh, lots of fun here. Here we go, the last red box. No evolution as well. And that's a bummer. So, nothing new. Oh, we do get one new plate. Oh! Oh, that, that's pretty much what I was looking for. So, I'm good to go. <laughs> I mean, Eventually, Mikumo's episode plate might return with uh, future gachas, so um, there's always a chance to obtain it later on. After all, it is definitely not a plate that you uh, prioritize as in like the most urgent plate to get. Seven star plates are still the most urgent ones to obtain right now. But I mean, if you guys are lacking in the power department for your yellow series episode plates, Mikumos is definitely one to look out for because it is the safest play route episode plate right now. Score repeat episode plates are the safest bet. I mean, they are definitely not meta, you know, like some people would say. <laughs> but, you know, like, um, if you guys are still not confident with your play style because you break once in a while, um, score repeat episode plates are definitely the best way to go for you and yeah um, definitely one to keep a lookout for because it is now uh, added with a special bonus effect and yeah it's okay I mean with no um, center skill and no active skill Mikumo's episode plate is definitely a permanent life skill episode plate um, for support purposes and of course to gain a better high score so and you know it comes with costume points that eventually will unlock the costume for you or if you've already unlocked Mikumo's costume it's probably costume points for a future episode of that you might use for a future costume that you really really want to obtain you know in the future I've been saying future too much <laughs> anyway guys I will see you guys in the future <laughs> in the next episode of the Uta Macross video. Until then, as always, leave a like to this video if you appreciate the translator information as usual, if you enjoyed my horrible poo, and of course, subscribe for more content like this in the future, and I'll see you guys in the future. Yes, I've been saying too much future in, in this video. Bye!